I think basically what this comes down to is as we get to watch this play, um, I think one of the things that I see the biggest on um, the Hunters is the fact that their blocking is what's causing them to have so many problems. And if they can get their quarterback a little bit of time, um, get some gaps opened up for their running back, it would be a uh, much easier game for them. Either that or they just need to spread it out a little bit more and try and make some moves on the outside. Smith in at quarterback for the Hunters still. And it's a gift to Anderson. Well, or Thompson, I beg your pardon. Matthias Thompson gets a four good four-yard gain. But see here again, when we watch these plays, you're looking at them not spreading the defense out so all the guys are able to crowd the uh, line of scrimmage, and you basically have seven guys that mm -hmm. are sitting there saying, okay, our seven is better gonna, than yours. Yeah. They're not They're not even trying to, to spread them out and get these guys out of there. No. <clears throat> So what does that allow them to do? It allows them to pin. Or they don't have to pin back. Send everybody. Ears. Two twenty-four to go. Thirteen nothing alive. Just make sure you stand. In, stay in your gap. Yep. Send the outside guys and let it run. Ball at the forty-two so yard. Now line. this end on our side knows that he can go. Smith will put it up to throw, rolling out to his right. Pass caught oh, by. But that's a good play call. Pass is caught by that, Anderson. That's a good play call. Close to a first down. Gets a gain of five, sets up a third and one situation. And what that does two. is it, it that makes the linebacker hesitate. Before he shoots in to stop the run, now he has to hesitate because that lineman might be coming across. Anytime you have motion, motion will set a uh, the stage. Are they playing man? Are they playing zone? Now, most of the teams out here, you know, play man. And the question mark, a quarterback run would be there if you were to have him. Uh, Fake the run and throw. Yes. But that wasn't going to happen. But that wasn't going to happen. I mean, the fact no. of the matter is they're still not cutting down that defensive end. Nope. They're still not cracking him. They're still not making him think. He's but, pinning his ears back and just coming. But would that also just count as good pursuit by the Alliance defense? <laughs> well, that um, number five hasn't held a block for longer than two and a half seconds. Or the, than like point two seconds. Yes. And it's a like catch. he literally, he made contact and let him go. We just watched the replay up here. Yeah. And that's the guy that made the play. The only guy that can make that play on that play is that D end. Yep. You have to hold him and yeah. at least, at the very least, hold him. Like you, I'd rather you it, risk that penalty trying to make a play than just letting him go. Get him to uh, move his shoulders so that way he is square sideline to sideline. Now you cut, you cut him off. Snoop's going to keep it, and Snoop spin move and gets the first down for the Hunters we'll to keep the drive alive. Him. They spot him. Yep, first down. I wouldn't have thrown that ball either. Don't block for me. I'm just joking. He missed a wide open ball. He had a guy open with blocker. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know why he didn't throw he, it. Maybe he just sensed the pressure. Maybe his clock's a little sped up because he's had so, had so many people in his face all night. Um, that could also be it, but he had him open, and he didn't throw it. So this will take us to the end of the first quarter where we've seen some history. We saw our first three-point play. The Alliance took their first two possessions and have found the end zone. One complete here at Bonanza High School. The Alliance making their ace NFL debut have a 13-0 lead. Can the Hunters put some points on the board? You're watching the Fall Brawl on Fox 5.2. <clears throat> Welcome back to Bonanza High School, where it's 13 nothing Alliance, 14-56 to go as we start the second quarter. Anthony Alvarez, Scott the Viking McCorkle, Hello. and Chris Vera with you. What's happening? So we've seen some history. First three-point play, unsuccessful. The Alliance have taken their first two possessions. 
And a foul in the end zone. First and ten for the Hunters. Smith back to throw, looking to pass. Man. Oh, to, oh, that's a pass interference. Where is the no penalty flag? flag? Yeah, tangled. Man, that looked like a tackle. I kind of thought so. That looked like here, a tackle. Look, we're going to get another Well, let's, we take a, little, let's take a look at our big our monitor here. Quick check. I, would, I would think the Hunters should run into a hurry up real quick. Try and catch that alliance off guard. Yeah, get those that, big guys we a little heavy. We didn't see it in time, but. Those big I think guys. I think it might have been they, they did get their feet tangled Incidental up. Incidental contact. Yep. 14-12 to go here in the first half. 13 our first yeah, first half. I think they should try and put a little As tempo in this. As we are in thing. the second quarter. I would agree tired. with you. But now see they're they're going more to a spread offense. This is a time for Snoop to run. Take advantage of that left side right there. Ooh. Oh. Pass incomplete. And it binged him in the back of the head. Good thing he wasn't paying attention. It would have banged him in the back, in the front of the head. Bing bong. Mm. Yeah, that, that clocked him. 13 and a half to go in counting. Mm, Buffalo is and the putting the, the seal on the it. The Bills are going to upset the Chiefs, and that will put the Denver Broncos one game behind the Chiefs in the AFC West. And just to think, this is the same Broncos team that gave up 70 to the Miami Dolphins. Football's a funny game, isn't it? It is. Third and it 10 is. for the Hunters. And it's Thompson up the middle. And the Alliance defensive line, what There's we've no seen so far, it is very hard to run against this front of the Alliance. It's, you know, again, I've said it and I'll keep saying it. The biggest problem that I see with the Hunters trying to attack the middle of the defense for the Alliance it isn't necessarily that the defense is that good. The problem that I see with it is that you, as an offensive lineman, you have to get the defender's shoulders turned. If you cannot get his shoulders turned to cut him off, all you're doing is running into a wall. That's all you're doing. And right now, all I see out of the Hunters and their offensive linemen is they try to push the guys off the ball. If you can't push them, physically push them off the ball, then turn them. Get them turned so that way they can't make the play. Three-point play? Yep. The hunters from the 40, so that puts them at the 10, right? Correct. Yes. They're going to do it from the 10? Yep. So and if they get it, they get three points. They get three points. If they don't get it, the uh, in this case, the Alliance will get the ball at the 40-yard line. Ooh. Two run plays. I mean, it's it's one of those, you know, you, you have to take a, a kind of a hard line at it. And in this case, I think that uh, Coach is doing the right thing. Here is Smith back to throw. Oh, that D -end is looking, good, looking, man. rolling out, yeah. looking, looking, still going. Has a man caught, and it's a three-point play. The first three-point play first in A7FL history, and it's by the Hunters. Some more history okay. here okay. at Bonanza High as Matthias Thompson. Gets the first three-point successful conversion in a NFL history. So with 12-16 to go, the Hunters are on the board. It is 13-3 Alliance. Who would have known? Who, who, who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? I, I didn't know how people were going to like that. They're using the crap. 13-3 of the Alliance get their 3 one throw off. It's the Ace NFL Fall Brawl on Fox 5.2.
Welcome back to Bonanza High, where we have seen some history in this game, gentlemen. Two three-point attempts in our first six. Oh, that's uh -oh. not, that's yeah. not going to work. Nope. That is not going <laughs> to work. And the alignment. <laughs> bang, bang. Did, you, did you just say that ball looked like it was shot out of the air? Yes, he did. <laughs> so, well, I'll tell you like this. This is the third consecutive fair one throw that will be ball in hand to start, and that is double zero, to which, again, we apologize. We don't know if that's Jordan Lamb. We don't know if that's Isaiah Hayden. Well, how about this? It's one of them. Yeah. I don't know where that comes from, but I'm out. Now, so here's a situation that I see with this again. Are we going to see the defenders go to make a play, or are they going to wait for the offensive player like they've been? That's the question mark to me, and to me, you've got to go get him. Well, they're not going to get him. He is untouched, and he is gone. Well, every time the Alliance has touched the ball, they found the end zone. Well, and in this case, that's what we have been talking about. You make the one, you make the one plant and move, and you're gone. That's the way it's done. The fact of the matter is, what did we see differently in the Insomniacs game? You had a guy that would push him to the uh, sidelines to make sure he stayed contained. In that case, there was no contain. Okay, now we're trying close. to see which version of double zero that is. If we can get something on the screen here, and still nothing. I think that's Hayden. Isaiah Might Hayden. Might be Pat, Nick Pat Nixon. You got a 50-50 no, chance of getting is it tall. right. Oh, Pat Nixon's a yeah. probably the white guy. Yeah, he's tall. Oh, man, you guys kill me. So they're going to go for one to make this a 20-3 to three game, extend the lead to 17. Well, so That's a big line for the Alliance. Yeah, That's it is. Be, it takes time. Like, regardless of how good you are, you have to be fast to get around there with enough time to get to the quarterback. Well, what we're seeing if it, on the uh, offensive line for the Alliance is different from the offensive line for the Hunters is – you watch them change and move. Toss to Wilson, in. and Wilson gets in. What you're seeing in, is in the difference, and you can watch the replay of this. Very simple. So hold that and thought. And see the difference. Hold that thought. When we come back, it is 20-3 Alliance. You're watching the fall brawl on Fox 5.2. I think I'll wait until after the throw off. Smart man. Here we go. It is taken there by, I want to say that is Anderson. No, it's not. It's Jones. Jones trying to get to the corner on the far side. And a nice tackle by the green ski mask. Now you can finish your point. Well, what I was saying was the difference right now that you can see between the uh, offensive lineman from one, Here one comes team high tackle to the, yep, to the, the other net. is basically the fact that the hunters do not try to well, they, what they try to do is they try to move the defenders out of the gaps instead of turning their shoulders. When you turn a player's shoulders, a defensive player's shoulders, they can no longer attack the line of scrimmage. They are basically done. So what I see is I don't see the um, uh, hunters doing that on their offensive line, from their offensive linemen. You see it happening left and right from the Alliance offensive linemen. And that's the difference in this game right now is the Alliance's ability to uh, stymie, if you will, the pass rush of the Hunters. So, beautiful call. It is still Smith, and they gave us to Thompson, and runs into and runs into a very beefy defensive line. So, he ran nowhere. He <laughs> runs into the wall. Well, he ran to he ran to the he beef. Rans? Yes, he, he runs into the beef. I've had the runs before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wanabi trots. <laughs> um, but in this case, again, no matter how many times we say it, no matter how many times they're going to watch it, we're going to watch it and see it. The fact of the matter is the Hunters' offensive line are skilled players, and they could be better. Montel but I think Pettis. that what they're not uh, really good at is that's how you sustain a block. You can't you don't can't always hold them, but the other thing that you can do is turn their shoulders. And right Smith, now, all exactly. they're Going trying to do is field. push them off. Caught! Oh. No, they're going to say he's out of bounds. Was it in bounds? It decision, looks like they're giving him. No, it looks like they're giving him the give catch. They're saying that it was a catch, but he ran out. Now, he might, he might have. Uh, might have had a little bit of a push off. He might have given him a. Uh, 
Well, none the, well, it none looked the like last, he might have been in bounds. Nonetheless, Michael Perkins is going to get the catch. That's a good catch. Doing his, yes, it is. Doing his best Mike Evans impression. Yes. And that's a big chunk play for the Hunters. As they try to get back in this football game, down 17-23. Oh, yeah. So Man. what we're seeing, and just so you guys, you know, when we're taking a look at the differences, what I'm seeing right now is the Alliance is tough to run against. What I'm also seeing, though, is they can give up pass plays. Right, and I think you just got to get outside. If you can find well, a way to get the ball outside, uh, like if you can break contain, they have bigger D linemen. Yes, Smith to throw. Looking, rolling out to his right, and he's going to get sacked. Deontay Flowers with the sack. So here's a suggestion, and by no means am I Bill Walsh or Don Coriel or Sean McVay or Cal Shanahan, but um, take two weeks off and quit. That too. No. But um, just mm. just a suggestion. You, you might want to run the naked bootleg. That that does work from well, time to time. The problem with the naked right now is that if you have the line to do it, exactly. And the problem that I see right now is that the uh, offensive linemen are not holding up long enough naked for a naked boot to work. Correct. What they could do right here is uh, put two their wide receiver at the bottom of the screen. Let him give a little bit of a crack and then go out. Second and 17, Smith to throw. Look, we'll keep it himself. No, he's not. He's going to get sacked again. So if you would notice when um, he comes off the ball. And that was Pat Nixon look at, with watch, the sack. Watch the swim move. Watch the swim move. And an easy, he's right in position to make the play. Watch as soon as the ball snap. Nice swim move. Oh, yeah. Gets yes. underneath. Sack. Right. Textbook. Third and 18 with 9.07 to go, 20-3, Alliance. Swim and surf. And go get the quarterback. Smith pump fake. Underneath, yeah, pass caught. in the passing lane. Nice catch there by so, Kamari Mickle. As we're watching this, I want you guys to take a look at this, this play again. Mm -hmm. Watch the offensive linemen from the Hunters. They're not exploding off the ball to go get, and the thing about it is if you are a uh, porous offensive line, what you should be doing is you should be coming off the ball hard. So the Hunters looking to add three more. They're going to try their third three-point attempt of this game. So we are seeing a lot of history in this game here tonight. Balls. But you Ball know what's interesting. You know what's interesting. 34. But here's what's interesting Still for on. this. As we're going in for this three-point conversion, the greatest thing about this three-point conversion play is, again, we're talking about point differential. Right. Right? So you had zero points last week. Every point you put up on the board this Matters. week is going to help you out. Yes. So, we, so if they pick, if the opposing team picks it off, they can return it for points. Correct. Now, would that be considered, like short would that be considered three points or would that be six? Smith throwing in zone. Oh, Incomplete. And a flag. And a flag. And a flag. Wow. So that might mean move the ball up in, in another opportunity for the Hunters Got holding on this on three the point defense. play. Holding on the defense. So that will move the ball up. And oh, so that's a first down. Mm. He got hit as he threw. He stayed so, in the pocket to throw. So it. that means possession for the Hunters. So now they can actually go for six as opposed to three. Is that correct? Um, no, I don't know what they're what the call is. If it is on he a three said, point try, they said holding an automatic first down. Mm. That's what Maybe I heard. Half halfway. Oh. Yeah, because if it's holding, That's you'd have to go back to the original spot, take it up. <coughs> Excuse me, and then it would have to go from there. That is an interesting. What a way to bring that up. Dub's got to be in a good mood today. Oh yeah. Yes. So original. So basically, what you have is if it's a first down, uh, because of a uh, penalty, mm -hmm. it shouldn't be first down from your original spot of the try. Okay. So the spot was at the ten yard line. Correct. So that should be moved up to the five. No. No. Okay. Well, if they want to go for three. Yes. But if they're going to say it is a first down, then you would have to go back to the original spot, move it up, give them the first down. Okay. Now I know okay. that there's a conversation going on to kind of figure this out because of the way the rule's written. Okay. So we'll see what, what the I final output, uh, the final outcome is. I can't read anyway. You guys got to explain it to me. <laughs> we're, not we're not reading. Yeah. We're, we're not reading anything, yeah. sir. We're, we're going well, you said how the rule was read. Okay. The way the rule was written. Oh, written. Well, yeah. I can't read so, it to you. Um, I will, uh, Scotty, I will 
talk about it on uh, Wednesday for you, okay. and I'll, I'll draw pictures. I need that. Okay. <laughs> Which, by the way, you you, can, you know I'm always here to help you out, bro. I appreciate you it. You can catch the three of us on the other side of the ball every Wednesday on the Vegas Hype Media Network from 5.30 to 7, talking all things A7FL Nevada and the fall brawl. So the ball's going to be spotted, from what I understand, at the one-yard line. It should still be a three-point try. It should not be a, uh, a touchdown try. Thank so. you. So, Kamari, Michael, not Mickle, my forgiveness. Whoopsies. Smith, so this is still a three-point play. Okay. This is still a three-point opportunity for the Hunters and a chance to get their second one of this game. Smith rolling out. He can do it. He can keep it if he wants to. Nice move and does get the three points. All right, 20 to 6. They're only down 14. So, we will take this quick break. It's 20 to 6 Alliance. With the most exciting play in sports, the three on one return. We'll be back. 7.48 to go here in the first half. Anthony Alvarez, Scott the Viking McCorkle. Hola. And Chris Vera here with you live. And that's not going to get there. Yep. <laughs> that ball didn't have a chance. It, no. And that was another one that was shot put. <laughs> <laughs> Not thrown. Speaking of shot put, did you hear about Brock Lesnar's daughter setting the shot put record at Colorado State? Are you surprised? No. But she looks like her daddy, and that's not a good thing. <laughs> no. No, I'm not telling her that. <laughs> no, neither no. am I. Oh, if he gets away. He's gone. If he gets away again, makes another man miss. Down the oh, sideline, and he is gone. That's his second of the evening. And he's going to get flagged for taunting. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure who they're going to get for taunting on that one because I think I saw it from both. So let's see what we've got here. But the thing about it is you're going to have to wait till after the penalty to declare because if it's a um, unsportsmanlike and it's 15 yards, guess what? You're going to have to go for a one-pointer from the 20. Goodman is hot. He's always an emotional oh, leader on the gonna team. They're going to call unsportsman on the hunters. Ooh, Goodman was over there tripping. Somebody's we got so some. we've <laughs> we have seen a lot so far in this first half. Yes, we have. Twenty six to six in favor of the Alliance. But again, again when we didn't, they didn't go push. Yes, when we went down there and we are when they went down and they were talking about this. The thing that, that I saw again, nobody trying to pin him to the sideline. So they'll go for one from the five, and that's a very unique backfield set, three in the backs. And it is going to go to 24, who spins oh, up on, oh, what a spin move, wow. and gets in for one. Oh, he can't believe it. Matthias Are has, you kidding me? He cannot believe it. So with 7.48 to go in the first half, the Alliance oh. having their way, leading by 21, 27 Olé. to 6. Well, that's that wrapping up. You're watching the Fall Bra on Fox 5.2. After that score. La Cucaracha. What a spin move. My That's goodness. what she told. So, 27-6 in favor of the Alliance. So, every time the Alliance has touched the ball, they have scored. And the Hunters getting stalled, but getting three points on two of their last three possessions. But eventually, you need to score touchdowns in this game to win and not keep settling for three. Or as Steve Young used to say, kicking field goals, but in this case, not field goals, but getting three points is like kissing your sister. Uh, I'm not touching that one. Well, that's what Steve Young said. Well, I'm not, still not touching I, that I, one. I, I, that sounds like a you're, real sour cream you're citizen not, thing to say. <laughs> Stop it. Now, see, he doesn't have to bring it out of the end zone. But if he's, he going to. To. He's, he's going to. He's going to. And now if he doesn't get it to the Anderson, 20, guess what? Anderson still on but, his feet. He's but, down the sideline, and he, oh, oh got bad, pushed out of bounds. And oh, if he could but, stay in bounds, he might have had something. Oh, but if. But he had a nice return. Man, that was a good return. So the Hunters. He could have taken that little touchback and yeah. decided, it, man, he went. He decided to show out a little bit. Now again, good if on he, you, young now sir. Now again, if Anderson did not get to the 20, the Alliance would get the ball back at midfield, and that is called the get back, our version of the onside 
kick? Yeah, on, on I didn't throw. say kick because we don't kick in the NFL. Yeah, well, but but that's you said the word it was a, shall not name. Yes, but yes. you said it was our version. Our, so yes. that's why I said okay. of the onside kick. Okay. Fair we enough. We do it more fancy. Than fair, that. fair analogy. You are not wrong. Smith is Ugh. still in that quarterback. And here we go with this. Smith gives. Good block by Mike. Well, no, Michael. Again, they're trying Ooh, to. They're chippy, running. Chippy. They're and running. a flag for it. So here's my. Mr. Flowers got so a little excited. So here's my question, Chris. Yeah. And to you, Scott. Yeah. Why is it, if you're seeing that running up the guts not working, why not try to do some some toss or, you know, run the stretch play or, you know, try to run the counter gap? Well, uh, that, what that comes down to, man, and, and that's that's really, and I hate to put it this way, but that's really a uh, something that the coach has to see, and he's got to make the adjustments. Because right now what I see is all they're doing is, the alliance that is, is clogging up the middle to make sure they can't run. You have to start bouncing that outside. But the thing about it is you're you're using four offensive linemen, which means that something off the side should work because it's against three Offensive lineman or defensive lineman, excuse me. Oh, that was almost but you, a hold. You need to make sure that the plays yeah. are there. He got he got yards on that. Well, yeah, he's got, got some he got four yards, yards on it. Yes. He turned nothing into but something. But see, where did he go? Outside. Exactly. Extend the play. I've been trying to say, kind of like you just said earlier, I don't understand why they're not trying to stretch the field a little bit, trying to get these bigger guys on the alliance. Well, again, tired. one 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 way to avoid a when you have beef up front is of course. Go to the outside, go to the edges, and use your speed. Yeah. But that, that's the problem that I see is that the uh, hunters are not trying to utilize speed around the corner, and they're definitely not doing a good job with their um, guards. Their, or their tackles are not doing a good job of hemming up the uh, defensive ends. Smith in the gun. Thompson the back. Smith to throw over the middle. Picked off. Intercepted. And he is to the 40-yard line. Is that Oh, was that Noble? I it's so know. hard to see their jerseys it's when, so they're, when their, their, numbers. their numbers when they're looking 10? right at you. No, that might be Bel Belgrade. I know. I think that's Noble. No, that is. That's Noble. Well, if we can get a number. Yes. And you're correct. That is Noble Jones. Mr. Jones okay. with the interception and the Alliance looking that's to good. add to their 21-point lead with 6.20 to go here in the half. To which, by the way, the Alliance will get the ball to start the second half as the Hunters had first possession to start this game. This is an interesting uh, alignment. Very much so, and here's 24. And there you go. You What happened? Great they tackle. tackle. Matthias. No. He, Matthias it, watch, watch the replay. He, watch his offensive, no, watch his offensive lineman get pushed right back into the backfield, and he runs right back. Right, run, uh, right into his rear. Watch, on the replay you'll see it. So you're saying a butt Oop. block. Oh, yeah. So you're saying a butt block did not go so well. Pretty it much. Fika, Fika took the guy, took the O lineman, yep. drove him right back in the backfield. And see, that's why, like we've talked about before, the D, the DNs need to understand you're not going to make a, a super crazy play every time, but no. you can impact the play every exactly. play. And Fika here is Fika Tuli. Oh, nice move getting inside, then comes back outside. Gets to the 32-yard line. Some nose. very impressive run by Ficatuli. But see, here again, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep saying Matthias it. And you guys, everybody watching can see this. Watch how the offensive linemen get these guys running east and west rather than north and south. Once you start to do that, once you get these guys with their shoulders turned, that opens up gaps for you to run through. Translation, folks. Get a seal here, get a seal there, and to run this play in the alley. Michael Perkins, my bad, not Fika. Michael Perkins is the guy who made that play. And there's That's there's a, a play where you had everybody in the backfield waiting. Wilson on the carry gets a minimal gain. That looked like it could have been called a couple of different things. Well, I think that, um, you know, they have feasted so much, and I'm talking about the Alliance, they have feasted so much going up the middle that – I think that what their their feeling is is that we could do it at any point in time. Right. And right now, the hunters are actually doing a better job of stuff going up the middle than they are about um, anything going around the corner. So let's see if that keeps up. Sims will keep it himself. Great blocking by the Alliance on that run. Sims has already got a rushing touchdown early in the first half. On that same play. On, yeah, yep. on that same exact play. 
As they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Hey, that's that's the strategy. At this point, you as long as they seal off number 13, Michael Perkins, they get on that right side. As long as they get that seal, that's really all they need. Well, again, we're trying to get a seal here and a seal there and to run this play in the alley. Here a seal, there a seal, everywhere a seal, seal. Yeah. Once you get that seal, hit the hole and run hard and try to find Is the end zone. Is that a grown-up seal or a baby seal? Um, I don't Which know. ones do they use to make coats? <laughs> um, <laughs> Not that one. I would say the large seal. No, we'll say the big seal. This is a uh, this formation, formation is is has been working, uh -oh. but that time it didn't. <laughs> oh! Did he just? Oh, he almost, he almost all the way. Lateral Oh, oh no! Oh Play yes! Is still alive, oh, yes! and he's oh, going to yes! get some yards out of it. <laughs> I don't believe it. I don't believe it. That is a heads-up play right there. There's well, a guy that's going down. First off, he almost got the ball taken from him. Then he, he spins to get around. Then he notices, okay, I'm going down. Let me just pitch it to my guy. And this is backyard football, but at the same time, this is what they needed. You turned a loss, a sure loss, well, into a game. <laughs> that, but that was great alertness by Ficatuli to lateral the ball to 24. And 24, his motor just did not stop and got some good yardage. And the Alliance continuing to move the ball. Fika giving a good flex for everybody. He's a good sport. Sims in the gun, ball at the 21-yard line. Ooh, somebody and remembered to take the ball. Sims looking to throw it. In the face of Oh, and is intercepted. Incredible play. Incredible play. Number Man, went, all he did was we jump up and bat it down. We don't have his name, but that guy has been all over the place. We'll take this break. Can the Alliance turn points off this turnover? It's the Fall Brawl on Fox 5.2. We'll be back. Alvarez, Chris Vera, Scott the Viking McCorkle, and the Hunters trying to make something out of this turnover they just forced. Michael in motion. Smith to throw. Looking, looking, looking. Oh, he's got, he's got Thompson underneath. First oh, down across Matthias. midfield near the 45. Across the 45. Near the 40. First down, Hunters. Now they spread the ball out a little bit. Leak alignment out late. And they got a little momentum. It's looking good. Both teams have three timeouts, so the whole field is open. What I didn't understand, though, was uh, Snoop had a guy coming across on a uh, post pattern, deep post, and he didn't throw the ball. If he did, that could have been a touchdown. Possible. Well, I mean, then again, he probably had pressure in front of him, but he probably didn't see it, so he mm, took he the stepped short. Up, he stepped up for to throw it to number 10. He could have stepped up to throw it to the uh, deep crosser easily. Well, unfortunately, well, we've reached a two-minute warning. So we'll come back and talk Auto about more of this. It's the Fall Prawl on Fox 5.2. We'll be back. 27-6, Alliance. At Bonanza High, Anthony Alvarez, Chris Vera, and the Vikings, Scott McCorkle, Mikel, or Michael in motion, I'm sorry. And he takes the direct snap, and Michael gets some nice Ooh, yardage. Good tackle. Gets out of bounds. I don't, that think was that was a, I don't think that was a get out of bounds. I think that was just let me slam you out of yeah, bounds. Yeah, let me just put you out of bounds, and you'll take it and like it. I'm sorry, that was Quentin. I'm sorry, that was Kamari Michael, as we've been corrected by the Michael family. So we apologize for getting. At least we had his name right, just saying it wrong. Well, I mean, you know, like I said, improvements. We 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 are for. Like I said, if we are not we're pronouncing, human. if we're not pronouncing the name right, please give us, let us know, so we can get it right. So my socks don't even match. Give me a break. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> Minute thirty-five to go. Wait. Second and five. You have matching socks. <laughs> No. Michael in motion, Smith to throw. Michael out the flat, slips, stays on his feet, comes around the near side. Whirly oh, bird, balls out. Balls fumble. Out. Balls out. Oh, the Alliance claim they got it. Let's see. Oh, Hunter, Let's see what no. they're saying. No, it no, is Alliance ball. Got the ball. Wow. It looks like Noble Jones came up with the fumble. Okay. Can we see that replay? Because it mm. almost looks like he was...
Back, we apologize for the technical difficulties on the feed. And looks like Jeremiah Branch has declared himself eligible on this one point attempt. Hey, Scotty, quit trying to plug in your blanket. We're not that problem. Hey, man. Sims will keep it himself. And Sims follows blocks, and Sims gets Look, in uh, for the conversion. And again, Derek Jones was in there trying to make that tackle, like on the goal line. He is selling out for this team. I hope they give him the respect he deserves in that huddle. It is 34 to 6 with a minute two to go here in this ball game. Man, we're, it's going to take a lot for the Hunters to pull out of this. They, they have some sparks of some things that they can build on. It, it's, they just got to get back to recruiting, find a couple more big guys, some guys that can turn them shoulders in the trenches like Chris was talking about. And really, it all starts in the trenches. If you don't, if you don't have three big guys or two big guys and one guy, one receiver that can block a little bit, it's going to be rough for you. Well, it's not even, Scott, you know, the thing about it is we've, we've talked about this and we've said something about big guys. And I'm going to be the first one to tell you, you don't need – Big guys, you need physicality. Guys that aren't afraid to get in there and mix it up. I mean, hell, at my size and my height, I played center. All you have to do is know is is understand the situations. Okay, so we've been we told the that three. number twenty-two is Martin on the Oh, he slipped. Anderson. Oh, oh the nice open field. Almost had it. So that was a great play. So to the fans that are watching. We apologize, but the roster sheets that were given to us are with the numbers. So if the numbers are wrong, please let us know and inform us because we're only going off the information that we were given. So number hey. 22 is not Wilson. It is Martin. So would that be Edward Martin? Because on our roster sheet, he's listed as number four. Well, and here's a, here's a situation that, that is um, real. I'm the one that does the rosters. Uh oh. And so when we get the rosters, we get them from the coaches. And if the coaches make a mistake, guess what gets translated? So it is what it is. Well, thank you for that information. Um, oh, he bounces it outside. Good defensive play. Good defensive play. So again, if you want us to get the numbers right, please make sure you give our division manager the right numbers so we don't make the wrong calling of names. Because again, we're just only going off the information that was given to us. So again, we don't we apologize if anybody was offended. We're just calling the names of what we've been given off these play sheets. So we apologize. Now, this is an interesting piece. So you've got 30 seconds left to go in the half. And I see a lot of a lot of the Hunters players just kind of meandering around, which is interesting. I would have figured they would have tried to get in and get, get this play going as quick Smith as they can. Smith rolling out, flying on the play. Smith oh. lost the ball, and it goes right into the alliance. Talking about getting so a bounce we've to go got, your way. We've got laundry on the field, but unfortunately, I think it's going to be against the Hunters. And it's offsides on the alliance, and you are correct, sir. They will get the ball back and add five yards to that play. Well, things aren't necessarily going the Hunter's way. No, but, I mean, in this game. Seeing sparks of stuff, though. Yes, we can. if they can sustain a drive, if they can sustain and get some things moving, this could turn into a different game. Now, I'm not saying that they can easily pull this game out. What I'm saying is they can move this game into uh, their favor and possibly make it a good game. So I'm just interested to see because I'm like you said, Scotty. I'm seeing sparks. Yeah, there's definitely things to build on. They, like you said, it's not just big guys. It's a euphemism for people who in the trenches that block. But Smith to throw, oh, intercepted, oh, picked off, and that's number three, Javion Michael, and he's got nothing but green, and he high steps, and finds a pick six for the Alliance. Well. And we know for a fact that the third quarter will indefinitely de be indeed a running clock for sure as the lead is now up to 34 with literally two seconds to go in the half. Well, in this case, too, he threw well, it they hit, right to him. If they go for two, if they, well, man. Well, here's the thing. Okay, I know so, they're already in running clock. Yeah. If you're up 20, yeah. If you're up 28 in the A7, there's a running clock for the third quarter. Michael Brothers, a good day. That's a good question. 
That was Javion Michael. Are those brothers? Yes. Yes? Yes, they are. On so separate teams? Javion Michael. It is very cut. Yeah. And Kamari Michael. Yes. Nice. Big brother and little brother. Playing each other nice. on opposite sides of the field. And it's got to be entertaining. Javion Michael dinner. takes one <laughs> to the house. Well, I think I think the dinner tonight is going to be real bad. Yeah. <laughs> be a little quiet. The Alliance going for one, and this is. Somebody has the ball. It is a one point conversion. <laughs> yeah, some, somebody has somebody. the ball. Number seven. Oh, we got an injury, too. And no, number two. Got an 24. injury for the Hunters. Number 22. Oh, number 22. So that looks like it was either Sims or Fika. Tu oh, is that Martin? We just learned your name. No, no, no. Oh, Martin, that's for no. the Alliance. Martin is number 22 for the Alliance. We still don't have a name for 22 from the Hunters. No, Hunters. We're, and we're trying to work man, on that. So sorry, man. If anybody knows number 22 from the Hunters. Yes. Who man, is number 22 from the Hunters so we can please get his name? Y'all are pretty good about being on our helmet for messing up names. It is not on the roster sheet. So if there's anybody watching, if you can please get us number 22's name for the Hunters so we can and you call know, out his name. You know what's crazy? What's that? Shannon is, is fantastic. She gets me their uh their roster you know usually thursday mm -hmm. and i can't pull it up on my phone to see exactly which one if if this was me making a miss but i took her uh i took her roster that she sent to me and imported it into mine for us for the for the, for this but i don't get it so gyron anderson got it to you the better 20. get that ball you get man. on it it's live he does Two-hand touch. And I don't know what's going on. He's down at the 26-yard uh, line. He slowed up for some reason, I, and I don't know why. I think he heard footsteps of the guy coming back that he may miss. You know, I don't know if that was the situation, but the thing about it is you can't dance. Go. You know, he should have just went. Yeah, if he'd have made that cut back a, a split second, I mean, would have, could have, should have. But if he'd have made that, that cut back that he did make just a half second sooner, oh, he would have had loose. Yeah, he would have had green. Nothing but green in front of him. Two seconds to go. Two seconds to go. Yeah. And it's getting colder. Man, look. Colder and colder. I got a Carhartt in my truck waiting for me. And <laughs> the lights have taken effect. Last play of the first half, Smith will take the snap. Looking to throw, we'll take a shot downfield. Ooh. Looking for Michael. Oh. It was uh oh. No, no. And, and no, Javion no. Michael is hurting himself. Oh no, no. Slow to get up. As it was brother on brother. Is the question is it is that a is that a cramp or did he hopefully he didn't dislocate something? All right. So, so after one play of half, it is the Alliance forty one, the Hunters six. And none of them used a timeout. No. So we'll take this break. We'll be back. And we're back. And now we're going to send you or show you some highlights of the first half. And there's Double Zero taking the 3 on 1 and going all the way to the house using his speed, adding to the Alliance lead. And oh, there's more to come. A lot more. A lot more to come. <laughs> as the Hunters made some history as they successfully made one three point play. And here's the second three point play in A7FL history as Smith threw out to his right and found the end zone himself for another three-point play, which made it 20-6. to six. But again, the Alliance, every time they touched the ball, they found the end zone, and there's the other second three-point return by Double Zero as he goes to the house, ball in hand. And, and waves bye-bye. And waves bye-bye to everybody. And of course, there's a taunting flag. He almost caught the flag, but decided I don't want to get penalized myself. And then the Alliance went for a conversion. Or is this another touchdown opportunity? This is the other touchdown. This is, uh, I think this is the... This is Martin. Yes. That found the end zone about three times today. And then here comes another three-on-one throw-off that did not go in the succession for the Hunters. This is where he's just lucky to get himself past the 20-yard line because yeah. don't forget, that would be a get-back. That would be a get-back, and he almost took it the distance. Almost. But was forced out of bounds. And then here is an interception taken by the Alliance, and the Alliance again gets possession on offense. Great picked up by Noble Jones, and the Alliance would turn this into a touchdown themselves 
as once again it was Mr. Martin that reversed field. Oh no, this is the uh, quarterback. Yes, this Mr. is the quarterback Sims. play. I think this is the play I where think this he. This is yes. Martin where he goes right, comes back left, left and has a full accomp accompaniment just, of players. Well, 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 oh no, that's not right. the play. Okay, so <laughs> they huddle. Now this might be the play right here. Well, I think. if not, we'll be guessing again about we'll it again. We'll be guessing again. Let's watch the play develop. And there was the throw, which turned into an interception, interception. for the Hunters. Yep. Which you thought the Hunters could possibly use that to get back in the game. But no, it did not for no avail as this was caught. Good run there by Thompson. And you thought the Hunters were on the move. But... Till this play. Which turned into a fumble. Oh, yep. To which the Alliance recovered it. Which led to another touchdown for the Alliance. As you had Thule. And you had Sims. But Sims keeps it himself with a great blocking from his own line. Getting to the end zone to make that at that time 34-6. to six. And as you can see, it's time for the third quarter to start. The Alliance will get the ball to start the second half. So the Alliance have scored every time on possession here in this game. So this clock will be a running clock here in the third quarter, which if you're up by 28 or more, it's a running clock for the third quarter. Now, if you're up 42 Game's in the third over. quarter, it will end after the third quarter. Yes. So that is the mercy rules here in the A7FL. Now, if you're new to this, it is seven on seven. No pads, no helmet tackle football. And it's still hard hitting. It's still hard hitting. And as you can see, the uh, marks of the, the yard marks at the hash marks, that is considered out of play on the top of your screen on the far side. And Double Zero, who's already got two three on ones for touchdowns, trying to make it a hat trick. And there's the throw off. Oh, and by this is Anderson. not going to travel the recommended nope. and distance. And he's going to get ball, ball in, in hand, hand again. So this is a situation that does not lead itself well in the Hunters' no. side. Um, the biggest thing of this is the way that their uh, <clears throat> special teams work. You've got to pin him to the sidelines. Going after him is one thing, but nobody pins him to the sidelines. And he's, he's going to have again. a third three-on-one return for a touchdown. <laughs> And he sticks the layup over the goal post. Can we get that man's name? We We're don't know. Have to. We don't know if that is Jordan Lamb. We don't know if that's Isaiah Hayden because they are listed as single zeros, but we have a double zero. If somebody can get us double zero's name so we can give him his rightful due instead of just saying his jersey number, he's had himself a fantastic game on the return. That is the hat trick. We have another returner yes. that we're going to have to add yes. to our list yes. of guys that have, you know, so let's face it, Insomniacs, sick with it, and now the Alliance, the Alliance. all have great returners. And the Outlaws also. Oh, and the Outlaws as well. You yes. were right. You are right. That's my fault. I can't believe I forgot about Savion there for half a second. But also number 21 from OTT who might have had the, the return of the week last week. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that has been all over social media. There's just, I mean, these guys are next level, yeah. and and it's it's one of those situations. Now, see, there's a crackback, and you don't have to do it illegally. No. So when we watch this play, when we watch the replay of this, and you see the man coming in motion, all he's doing is holding up the defensive end. That's all you need. Just give give your running back the corner. Once he is able to get that corner, that's when he can punch it in. So it is 48 to 6, and if this says, well, we'll talk about that more when we come back from this break. It's the Alliance 48 to the 106. This is the Fall Brawl on Fox 5.2. Welcome back to Bonanza High. Anthony Alvarez, Chris Vera, and the Viking Scott McCorkle. There we you, go. Are, are you nice and toasty, Scotty? Oh. It'll be Jones. No, I just had a fist fight. 25, 30. Across the 35. Ooh. Pushed out of bounds at about bounds. the 37. Oh, nope, they're putting them at the 34. 
told my son it was time to go home, start getting ready for school and everything. He swung on me. <laughs> yeah, he don't he don't like leaving this place. He has a lot of fun up here. Well, of course, he's around kids. Kids, football, and I'm up here talking to y'all. He ain't got no rules. Well, Miss Kelly, Miss Kelly, and everybody just spoils him. They love him. What I miss? Oh, so get oh, ready. they scored and got the two. Mm. Here we go. Uh oh. So here's Smith. Back to throw, looking, oh, looking. He pulled it down. And uh, he should have let it go. And Flowers again. Should have let it go. Number 92, Deontay Flowers has had a strong game today. He's got yeah, a he's, second. He's, he's yeah. got a second sack. Strong man with a strong game. His dad takes really good pictures too. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Oh, so he's a photographer. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. Now we know. T flowers on T flowers photos or something like that yep. on Instagram. Yep. <laughs> Great pictures. Great pictures. Saved Isaiah from getting ran over in a forty. Mm -hmm. Sets up second down and sixteen with 11, under eleven minutes to go. Smith looking to throw, looking oh, to throw. He's got to let it go. Shot down field. Look, he's got look. all oh, of his hands. No, right off complete. his hands. But right this is, off his hands. This is what we're talking about earlier. So sorry. So sorry I got excited. They finally did something to try and slow him down. Yes. Yes, you got the five-yard penalty. Okay. Take it. Yeah. It's okay. You're trying. You've got to send but a few got, messages. But at the end of the day, you got to make the catch. you you got to make that catch on the end of that play. But they would have accepted the penalty and it would have come back. But – it's okay. But you Just know what? It's try showing to make the play. It's showing that it's there. Exactly. That's the like point now, that you're that we're making. It's showing that the play is there, that they have the out and up ready to go. So now if they just bring him down and crash the end instead of lining him up inside and trying to catch him, throw the same route. Maybe he catches the ball. Okay. Smith looking to throw again, rolls out, running for his life. And the alliance and again he gets to him. Slammed on his head on accident. And he is slow Called to get up. Um, so, the only thing I'm seeing nope, from... he's getting up. He hopped right back up. What I'm seeing from uh, from this O-line is they're not able to reach for the ends. No. They put they put taller number Pat, uh, zero, Pat Nixon in, and he's been causing mayhem in the in the backfield for them. And I think it's just because, like, he's a long guy. He can, he can make a... Like, if you make your uh, move late, he's going to get a hold of you. And once he gets his hand on you, he's, it doesn't seem like he lets But the go. problem is, if you watch the defensive end, and it, we're watching, we're, I'm talking about at the bottom of the uh, screen, if you watch what the defensive end is doing, as soon as that the offensive line is getting his, uh, the offensive lineman is getting his set, it's, he's done. Because he is not turning to accept him. He's not blowing off the ball to go right, get right, him. Right. So he's one move and he's done. He's, he's, uh, He's an, a passive participant in blocking. Like yes. he's, he's just receiving the rush instead of making a block. Exactly. And that's what's creating the problems with him. And that's what you were talking about earlier with it. It's not about the size of the guy. It's about the mentality that they have when they line up in to go. See, and that's a good punt. Yep. And, that, and you would be 1,000% correct. Like there's a – and we talked about it on the podcast. There's a guy, uh, a couple of flag guys that aren't your biggest guys – that are amazing blockers. There's a center, Timothy Woot, who's just in a, like has this amazing arm chop where you really can't go anywhere. By the end of the day, your arms are all swole up. Yep. And then Lugo is one of the taller guys in the in the flag league. That's one of the better blockers, and he just has a great kick step. And you're not getting around him. And with his length, like even if you try a spin move or whatever, he can recover quickly. Well, I think that in this case, what we're seeing is to be a willing blocker in this league you have to be able to get in front of the uh, opposing team's player. Yep. And it, some of these guys just don't have the footwork to do it. Uh, another thing you could do oh, is you could do the Matt Kenny method got, where you just run around Morales. throwing everybody. Down it's, the coming, side it's coming back. And it's going to come back. Morales will run it all the way. But it is coming back indeed. Yes, it is. Did he pull up a little bit? Is he cramping or something? No, no. He pulled up once the whistle was yeah, he blown. Pulled up he once, knew that he, it was coming, was coming back. back. There's no point when you have a situation like that. You can run. You can race if you want to the end. So get, so, get warm. You, you <laughs> How want, good you, would Frozone be? In you wanted to. Right? You wanted an answer to the question. Mm -hmm. So number twenty-two for the hunters is Xavier Holmes. Xavier Holmes. Good Great to know. game, sir. 
And great research there. Well, we're you know we we do read the comments on the YouTube feed, and if you're uh, like I said, we we want to get names right. And again, like I said, we're only going off the we information only, that was given exactly. to us. We can only do what we can do. So all those fouls will be off. So it looks like we've got got holding, huh? And number twenty-four for the Alliance is Andre Voss. Voss. V A S S. So, special thanks to our staff getting the information and relaying it back to us. As again, the one thing we don't want to do is try to botch names on the air. Because again, like I said, we're only going off the information that's been given to us. And again, if we get any names wrong, we apologize. And if you know who the how the pronunciation is, or if we got the wrong name, please let us know in the chat feed. As long as we don't call Crown Cannon for an entire game. Yes. <laughs> Which we will see. Oh, oh what a fumble! Ball. And the play is also dead. Oh, man. What are we going to call with that? So That's an incomplete pass? Interesting. He must have tried to pitch it forward. That's the only time that you would get an yeah, incomplete pass. Like a shovel? Yeah. Well, John Elliott was Which the master of the shovel pass. Uh, the tube is good. <laughs> So, what are we? What do we? What are you most? Uh, man, if I cannot stutter and stammer, that was like the Looney Tunes stuff. Dip, dip, dip. That's yep, all, folks. Yep, exactly. Uh, so, what are you looking forward to most in this upcoming game we got coming up, Dub? Talking about the seven o'clock in between OTT and the Hunters. Yes, sir. Can the Outlaws? Uh, can outlaws the out, can, and the Hunters. Outlaws and OTT. OTT. I'm sorry. If the Outlaws can mesh, and if the Son of Krypton not tries to do everything. Screen oh, pass. Screen pass. Big wow. man with football. That's wow. Mr. Prince. And, he's and look at the big man move. Still on his feet. Big man elusive. Big man <laughs> ringing the people. people. Big man still won't go down. He's still moving. Wow. Wow. Let's go. Jeremy Branch inside the 30. Put that meat in your smoker. <laughs> wow. Big man with football making moves. And I saw a couple of people make uh, business decisions. Oh, yeah. Real, but, but you business, know who didn't? real business decisions. But you decisions. know who didn't, though? Number seven. Nope. There he is again. There he is. He's there always he is in there. He's always in there. If Man, if they don't build around this guy, I'm telling you, you're making a mistake. Uh, we Voss and... Uh, my, my bad. That was incredible. Voss and Jones are the cornerstones of this Hunter's now, defense right now. Now, he's been on the show, and I... Botched not taking anything away and from I Kamari. And I botched Jeremiah's name badly. It's Jeremiah, not Jeremy. My bad, Mr. Yeah, Branch. Jeremiah. I know I'll hear from him later on. Oh, you know you will. Yeah. Especially from Miss Ebony. Hi, Miss oh, Ebony. Oh, yes. Here's Sims. Great oh, blocking again. Same and play. Sims same play. is going to have his Another hat trick. touchdown. That's his third of the night. And the Alliance. The Alliance? They can score. <laughs> they can. That's a 50 burger, folks. But here's the thing. They can score against yes. uh, this kind correct. of talent. Correct. We have to see what You're they correct. do against better talent. You are correct. But a run game is a run game. Yes, it correct. is. Correct. <laughs> like, it's still the foundation. We haven't seen them have – you haven't seen Mondo throw the ball, Fika throw the ball. Nope. We're, we're watching Sims take the reins right now. And, and Sims really hasn't had to throw it. And he hasn't had to run, uh, uh, throw the ball. It's all been run plays, and it's misdirection from the backfield. And in a nice, I like their formation. I, if you're gonna run the ball, why? I mean, if you're not, if you don't really need to mask it, just run it down their throat. Well, folks, we might have about an hour of uh, fill time because this game is really about to end here in the next about three, three minutes. About three minutes. Yep. Going to PTs. <laughs> <laughs> Bring me back some chicken tenders, please. No, oh, they're so yes, good. Yes, they no, are. Bring me back some, so yes, some wings. Yes, they are. Man, PTs Bring me back listening. some wings, some man. And there goes Armando, and he's not going to get in. Nope. But the lead is going to stay at 54-6. to six. So, 2.40 to go and counting. We will take this break. It's all Alliance here on the Fall Brawl here on Fox 5.2. We shall be back. Back here with 2.39 to go, Anthony Alvarez, Chris Vera. And the Viking Scum McCorkle with you. Hi. Here's the throw off from Voss. And it's taken by. That looks like Anderson. Ooh. And Ooh. it is. Ooh. Anderson still Cut on his back. feet. Anderson 
Out of bounds. Oh, Ooh, fumbles Lost the ball. The ball. Hey, you need that. You need the ball to run, yes. Don't forget it. Like I've said plenty of times, can't run without it. No, no you can't. Which is why you have Mr. Pilfer that likes to take the ball. Yes, Mr. Cannon. Because if he's tackling you, Max he's tackling 30. the ball. So here we go. Two minutes and 16 seconds to go. As Chris Vera now is showing some passion that I've been showing the last two weeks involving my team watching on the iPad. All right. Hey, oh, pass that, interference, pass interference, hey, that's no matter a, where you're playing. Hey, hey, that is a hug. Yes, indeed. He no hugged, matter where you're playing. He hugged him. And look, he's got that logo. I didn't do it. Yes, you did. 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 The Lions has a new D-line coming in. Well, let's see what that's goes on with this. That's a big boy up the middle. That looks like Nixon. That's Donald Hughes. <laughs> no, Smith real. back to throw. Takes a shot down. Phil for off oh, the hands. No. Perkins had it again. So, Perkins I'm going has to. Shown sparks of I'm going greatness. to. I'm going to say this, and I, I hope that there's Perkins. other receivers out there listening that that do this. Bottom line: When you see a situation like you just saw, put your head down and run. Yeah. When you look back, it holds you up. So. Got to do what you got to do. Well, I would have done the Steve Largent. I would have dove. Off the hands. Hit Off the, his hands. Hit man. you in the wrong spot. Yep. Hit, hit him in a bad spot of the yeah. hands. That's what it comes down to. Minutes, hit him in the bad spot, minute, bad spot of the hands. Minute five to go. Well, I mean, I, Smith has taken some shots, but just off the fingertips, if you will. Smith to throw again. Quick out. Pass caught. Anderson coming across. Anderson made a move. Gets Mr. to the 44-yard line. So is he ne the new Neo? And that's, that's a good Mr. Question. Anderson. That's a good question. You know what? I could use a good Saturday of just locking myself in a room and watching all the Matrix movies. I'd fall asleep. So you don't <laughs> like good movies? The Matrix to me is not a good movie. Oh. And I don't care if y'all bash me for it. That's just how I feel. Oh, I, I don't bash. I, I tried watching the Matrix. I went to sleep and took a nap. I don't know. There's some movies that are like that for me. Yeah. Like Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Pff, those are snoozers. <laughs> snoozers. I, I, I kid you not. Um, the very first. How great is New Girl, though? The very first Jack Donkey movie. Jack Donkey. Oh, yes. The first Jack Donkey movie yes. with Johnny Knoxville and all those yes, guys? Yes, yes, yes. In yes, the yes. movie theater? Yes. I literally went to sleep. Oh, you're, you're a different breed. <laughs> <laughs> no. Now, however. I did. W I was awake for the paper cut scene, which was funny. Oh, oh no! <laughs> and the and the no, and the I don't like you. <laughs> and I don't the, like you. And the panda suits was funny. Oh, oh the, the panda suits were funny as you know what. <laughs> and then I I'll went, get out. And then I went back to sleep after that. Yes, but those two particular scenes were funny. They were, they were hilarious. <laughs> Snoop calling out some signs. How many broken or, or bones not do you think signs, that franchise was Signals. For? That's a very. <laughs> We need a, a, a statistician for that one. Oh, and we've got. Is that a first? Yeah, that's a free five yeah. yards. But you know what? The play, they're not, they're not going to get into the playoff. The nope. game's about to end. Game's about to end. Timeout? Doesn't matter. Yeah, it's a running so clock. It's a running clock. Game's they can't over. take a timeout. They can't take a timeout. So by the time he walks this off and they set up, guess what's going to happen? And that's going to do it here. As no, the hold on. No, hold wait on. a minute. Time out. Told you. <laughs> Scotty was right. <laughs> Told you. The Viking. They, they didn't know what was going on. The Viking was correct. That's the Ooh, first time. 60 yards. Oh, if he hits this. Bing. It's going to get there. It's good. It's going to get there. It's good with some. Wow. Wow. He probably had another 10 on that. Yeah. Wow. Kickers are now on steroids. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> they found a way to put it just in the big toe. <laughs> They're wrenching stuff from what they like from distances that people thought just un unreasonable. This will well, officially he's a, be. He's a he's a soccer player. There you go. Big soccer have player. you seen the rugby punters coming in? Oh yeah. Here's the official last play of the game. With the alliance, we're still going to win this game no matter what happens. Oh, what a Smith move by the DN. Out. He'll put it up. It was a great inside out. Oh, he went knocked up there. down, incomplete. And now the game is officially over. Latrell as, Fleming. Went, oh, no, that's not Latrell Fleming. As the alliance, like the alienators, made their A7 debut. And they get the win. 50 burger. We'll take this break. We'll be back to recap. It's the fall brawl on Fox 5.2. 
Back here at Bonanza High, where the final score is a 54 to six win for the Alliance. A 50 burger. Yep. For the first time out, that's it, not bad. No, not at all. So, looking back at this game, thank um, you. What was? <laughs> what you was, no talkie for you, right? No. What was the one thing? So wait, you're saying, saying the run that. game was the biggest? The run game was good. Okay. To me, it was the return game. So here is some hi well highlights. Until then, I think the Hunters showed some good well, sparks and stuff. They got Perkins some stuff showed, to clean up, some yeah, stuff to work on. Perkins showed some promise. I think with some coaching and some extra drill work and stuff, he'll be all right. Well, they I, got some. They got a couple of studs out there. Okay, so we are ready to show you some highlights, fans. And perhaps the biggest one of the day is Mr. Jeremiah Branch, rumbling, bumbling, stumbling. stumbling. Knocking down defenders, running through defenders, not going down. And seeing the big smile on his face when he got up. And exciting the crowd with his <laughs> run. But uh, Mr. Martin, number 22 for the Alliance, we might have to add him into the role with uh, Moncrief and Juice as far as impressive running backs making their debuts here in the Ace NFL. Um, there are some good backs coming in for this fall brawl. And I'm really anxious to see where they're going to go for the – well, I think Juice is going to stay on the Insomniac. Yeah, I don't think he's leaving. For the spring season. Um, but interested to see to where um, Martin will go for the Alliance when the spring season hits. Same thing with Mr. Moncrief when the spring season hits. Um, but what we've seen so far, it well, has been um, – But if we look at some of those players that you're talking like about, if it's, if Mr. Moncrief, Moncrief is, is uh, easily a pit boss. Come next season. Yeah, but if he ended up, if he landed somewhere like OTT, well, you know, you don't know, you know. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, any of those teams, all of those teams need help building. I just, I really want to see people build up OTT. I think GR deserves a squad around them. Jeremiah too with the gold. Um, there's just, there's some things that that we can we can do to help them with. Some well, I mean, there's always things that can be done to help a squad out, right? Yeah. And when we sit here and we take a look at some of these squads that we know are going to be, or that are legacy teams that will be back next season, you have to ask yourself, what are we going to see from them? Because there's some teams here now that will not make it into next season because they're not a legacy team. Right. So it would be nice to see some of these players break up a little bit more and start to go to uh, lower end teams to bring them up. Because It'll happen. All it naturally the, happens. Yes. Like there's, and you, there's gonna be big breakups. There's gonna be like there's oh gonna yeah. be a couple teams that stick together, but there's gonna be th some like on the Insomniacs. There's second, third string guys and on sick second, third string guys, or second, and third in the rotation that can start anywhere. Okay. But so, if they don't want to, so if, they, if they're cool pay, being a role player like they we have been, it's been it's awesome. So, so next question, the Hunters, they get on the board this time. They make history. Can they? Um, convert the first three-point plays mm -hmm. in a seven history, so they score some points. Um. Seconds, that is. <laughs> so um, we'll talk more about this, and we'll preview OTT and the Outlaws. But again, the final score here was the Alliance 54, the Hunter 6, as the Alliance make their A7FL debut in the fall and come out with a big win. And we will see how that goes in the tournament setting. And uh, we'll take this break. We'll talk more. This is the Fall Brawl on Fox 5.2. We'll be back.